Howdy, Reed Desert Boy here. I just wanted to uh, take a moment to talk about one of my favorite uh, couple of firearms. And you know, I like lever actions a lot. You can see here, I got a friend here with me today, excuse me. Uh, uh, and uh, just want to remind you, you know, as we're going into these summer months, especially out here in the desert, you know, I live in Southern Nevada uh, or wherever you're at, and you want to make sure that, uh, you know, you're drinking plenty of water and stay hydrated up, you know, uh, when you're out there. And, or you'll end up like this uh, poor fellow right here. As you can see he's, uh, he maybe didn't get enough water. And so, you know, here he is. But uh, just a little safety reminder there for you, you know, when you're out and about, you know, you wanna stay properly hydrated. But as you know, I'm just a hobbyist and enthusiast, you know, I've got uh, my own, these are just my thoughts and opinions on what works for me need to follow all your local, state, and federal firearms laws, permits, whatever you got to do for a CCW or licensing or, you know, so forth. You need to follow all those local ordinances, rules, regulations, laws, uh, you know, for wherever you're at. And uh, just make sure you're in compliance with those things. But moving on from all that, you know, you know I love lever actions. You can see here he is. He's equipped with his lever action. This here is a... R92 uh, Rossi uh, and it's a it is a side gate loader and it happens to be in 45 Colt and we got another one we'll talk about which is the Henry uh, 38 357 uh, big boy carbine which I happen to really like too so um, as you can see here he's pretty protective of this here weapon but let's just uh, let's just borrow it for a minute here I'll kind of borrow this guy for a minute. This one here is much more authentic looking. It's got the side gate, of course. They didn't have a safety like this one does on top. But it's a 10 round, right? It's got a 20 inch barrel on it. It's Brazilian hardwood. You can see it's unloaded. We checked it safe. You know, it's a 6.2 pounds, right? And it shoots the 45 Colt round. The 45 Colt round, as you can see here, is a pretty venerable round. This happens to be 250 grains. Now, they also make a Hornady uh, FTX lever revolution round here in 225 grain, which can be pretty effective for a lot of things. This one here just happens to be a, a ammo ink uh, jacketed uh, TMC uh, total melt coating uh, round. If you look at that compared to say the 357 Magnum, which certainly has more uh, muzzle velocity and, uh, and we'd have to check and see, but you need to look at your ammo, see what the power is. Where the 45 makes up for it is in mass if it has lower velocity. Well, this one here, of course, is a very powerful round and it, it'll shoot in the, the Henry that we're gonna look at. And this is a 38 Special, which it will also shoot uh, in the Henry, which is a just a, a jacketed round. So if we were to look at these side by side, you can see, let me just set this down for a moment. Look at these guys side by side, you'll see that this round is considerably larger than the other one. So I happen to really like the 45 Colt round. I think it's a great round. So it doesn't have, it's not, extremely high pressure like a magnum round you know the 357 or 44 and uh, can be pretty effective this one here i like it's one of the guns i shoot best with open sights it's a very accurate um, to traditional side gate loader um, and it's 6.2 pounds so it's you know relatively uh, light in a lot of ways and this gun the 1892, I believe, is the gun that, when they show the rifleman and stuff, that is kind of the version it is. I think it's a it's a carbine. I think this is more of a be considered a rifle. Um, it was a very popular gun and was manufactured clear into the 20th century in uh, varying calibers. But it was a very popular uh, rifle. You know, a lot of people see the 1894s and a lot of westerns. These guys here were also very popular for many years. So let's set this guy down for a minute. So that's a 6.2 pound, you know, 
20 inch long rifle. I'm going to get up for just a minute here. As you can see, I move kind of gingerly. My knees aren't what they used to be. Be careful here sitting down. Don't fall down. This is the Henry. Now I happen to have a Picatinny rail on it, which if you're going to use the open sights, you'd have to remove. I don't have my red dot and 3x magnifier on it. And by the way, that one right now lists for about $7.95. I bought it for less than that when I bought it, but this one here lists for like a thousand dollars or somewhere up there. Now you have to make your own decisions about what works for you. Talk to your experts and so forth. If such a thing is useful for you. This gun is actually very short. I bought it more for my purposes, in my opinion. Either one of them could be, but this one's a little shorter because uh, the other one's overall length is uh, 37.2 inches. This one here, let me just look real quick, kind of refresh my memory here because my memory is not as strong as it used to be. I think this one is only 36 inches overall, 35 inches overall length, so it's a couple inches shorter, and it's a 16 and a half inch barrel. It will shoot 38, 357 Magnum, you know, 38 plus P's. You need to read the manual because there are some information in there about the grains and so forth. But uh, this has also has iron sights on it. As I said, I put a Picatinny on mine. You can't use the iron sights with the Picatinny on it. Um, it has this kind of brass receiver, which I think looks very nice. If you notice, this is not a side gate loader. This is a tube fed loader. You gotta open the tube here, you know, and load it from the top. You slide the rounds in either from the top of this when you pull the pull the rod out, which is, this has always been very stiff to open for me. I'm not going to pretend like it's easy, but you have to lift this up and you load the rounds in either from the top or actually what most people do is they'll load them in right here. And then you have to get this in position and you have to turn it and it's got a spring loaded magazine follower in there. Um, but anyway, it's a very nice gun. Much heavier, oddly enough, than the other one. This one here is uh, is 7.76 pounds, so it's almost a pound and a half heavier. It's got these nice brass rings. It's got a very nice look to it. We were talking about the rifleman from there. As you can see, this isn't quite a large loop of levers. What he had on there, he had a whole special trick setup, but this is a larger loop lever, which I guess if he had gloved hands or something. Some people like these for a brush gun because they're nice and short, as I said, inside. Um, inside if you were perhaps considering home defense it might be viable you have to make that decision for yourself but i just wanted to kind of take a moment to talk about lever actions because i like them so much this one's a much more traditional looking one with the exception of the safety which uh, of course in, in, in the 19th century they didn't have those on them at least the kind that's on here and uh as a side gate loader, if you you know, where this one is a tube fed loader. Nowadays, Henry is making side gate loaders, but I still really like this gun. As you can see, it's a bit bulkier. It's pretty robust. You could probably use it as a, uh, almost as a modified club to defend yourself if you needed to. So, you know, Personally, I like both rounds. I happen to like the 45 because it's a pretty effective round without having a lot of uh, recoil and it's fairly accurate. And uh, um, oh, yeah, just to make sure, I don't know if I cycled this guy. You can see it's unloaded as well. Just want to make sure you know that. So this one's considerably higher in price. Like I said, it's quite a bit higher, but it is it is a very nice gun. Uh, they both have their own purposes and their own need, own own uses uh, from my perspective. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to share that with you today and uh, talk a little bit about uh, lever actions. Uh, would I say lever actions are for everybody? Not necessarily. You have to kind of like I said, if you get an opportunity somewhere and you have a chance to try one out, you might want to do that. You have to figured out but I like them because I kind of like the idea of the West and and all that and uh, I started out with a Henry 22 Golden Boy which is a very very nice gun to start with and 
think it holds 15 or 16 rounds. By the way, the Henry holds, if I remember right, the capacity on this one is, uh, I think it's eight uh, on your capacity. It depends on whether you're putting 357s in it or you're putting the uh, seven rounds with the 357. And I don't know if you can fit one more in with the 38. It's been a while since I shot it. So I hope to get to the range so you can see these on the range again. And just remember, like I mentioned about my friend here, make sure you're, you know, getting plenty of, of uh, drinking plenty of water, making sure you're being safe out there in the sun, not getting overexposed, make sure you're protecting yourself against sunburn and all that kind of stuff as we get into the summertime. So as Reed Desert Boy always says, be safe out there, whatever you're doing. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye now.